Welcome back to a wet and rainy November. There are a ton of crappie down there. This time of year, these crappies start to get deeper. Um, I'm in about, it says 16, but I think, oh, I might've slid a little deeper or slid a little shallower. A lot of these fish are in that like 18 to 22 foot and they're right on that hard to soft bottom transition. Hopefully this is, this is it for rain here. I hope it doesn't just start downpouring, but got the Norfin suit on, so I think it'll be all right. But for this video, it is sponsored by Two More Cast Tackle Box. Yeah, for just $1, if it's your first month signing up, you can get this lure for just a buck. I think this retail goes for like six or $7. So heck of a deal. Sign up for your first month right now, get this lure. After that, you're gonna get uh, a cool package of multi-species lures, hair jigs, crankbaits, jerkbaits, that you can use for both crappie, bass, uh, walleye, whatever you chase after. But for right now, first month, sign up for just a buck, heck of a deal. Get the lipless crankbait, lipless crankbaits this time of year. It's a great way to cover some deeper water. That was a terrible cast, I'll admit that. Cover some deeper water, fish deeper, and help trigger a bite. Let's see if we can get this thing on the live scope here for you. And this lipless, as you just pop it, it's got that, it's got little beads in it. Help trigger a reactionary strike. They're coming for it. And when they get close, you use the, uh, the ice fishing technique where you're just rocking that tail, a lipless slowly raise it up. You give it a couple jerks when you're trying to get their attention. And that vibrating and these Euro tackle lipless are so narrow it's almost like you're fishing with a blade bait. And you just give it a little twitch with the rod tip and it has that vibrating effect. Helps get the fish's attention and when you get them close that's when you do a little bit of a rocking technique and hopefully get them to bite They're right below the boat. And let them chase up the water, call them like that. Come on, commit. You're right there, dude. Commit with it. Yes, got him. Got him to commit. That's how it's done with a lipless. That was awesome. He read the script. Trigger an aggressive bite from an aggressive fish. I'm not going to keep any. Ooh, I'm not going to keep any night because I got crappie from last weekend but that is how you read the script there buddy good for you he's probably a 10 and yeah, maybe a nine and a half see you bud but that is how you fish this I'm gonna be using this now until I'll probably be using this during the ice fishing season as well this is what you throw on to catch those first aggressive fish if you drop your lure down the ice hole. And then once you catch a few, they start to get a little picky. So you might have to go to a plastic or a minnow or something. But this time of year, they should be aggressive and they should be racing up the water column just like that one. Unfortunately, we're in frontal conditions, post front kind of rain. It's supposed to get down to like 35 degrees tonight. So hopefully it's just rain and not snow. But let's get back down there and catch more. Now the cool thing is I'm still in shallow enough water. If I was fishing like 25 foot, I'd probably want to keep these fish. 25 to 30 foot, I'd probably start thinking about keeping them. If I'm fishing deeper than 30, I'm definitely keeping them. But you know, I'm only in 17, 18, 19 foot. I think I'm all right. Let's see if we can get some of these fish to chase. Oh, here comes a fish. Key is to keep that above it. You're just playing keep away with it. And thump. He's right there. Right at the boat. Yeah, I got him. That's the key. He's a little guy. But that's what you want to do. You want to make him race up the water column. Chasing this lipless. See you, buddy. Let's quick talk about where I'm finding these fish. Past few videos I've been talking about using charts and... Uh, chart highlighting those contour lines highlighting them to kind of give you an idea of how to where to use your side imaging and that's basically all I did today again just highlighted that 18 to 23 oh my goodness there was a thump and I missed them 18 to 23 feet just using that side imaging 
and uh, ran into a pile of crappie. Oh, there he was again, and I missed him again. But that's that's pretty much where they're going to be. They're going to shift off to about 25 foot here later in November, closer towards ice season. But they're you know they're not going to really slide off into full on into the basin of 30 plus foot until probably in, well into ice season. They're, oh, he stumped it, and I think he messed it up too. Yes, he did. When crappie hit that hard, they tend to mess up your hooks. So I'm just going to be focusing on this depth range now until probably probably mid-December. Probably well into that first part of early ice. Especially if you can find any type of cover. Like if these are cribs here. If you can find any piece of cover, they're just going to be hanging tight to them in this deeper water. But I found that the fish that are on the cribs are not the most aggressive. These fish off the cribs, closer to the bottom, they tend to be the most aggressive. So that's why I'm trying to target them the most. And I don't know if that's because they're probably the bigger fish. It seems like the smaller fish might find, might be closer to those cribs because just because of security purposes and safety. Because there are all those big musky and pike roaming around. Here comes. Come on, dude. Yeah, yeah. That feels like a better fish. We got 10 pound braid, so we're, we're both flipping today. Catching crappie in the cold November rain. It's the only reason I'm out here is because they're biting. <laughs> That's a decent fish. Let's put him on the bump board. I bet he's a 10 and a half. Eh, 10 and a quarter. That was a half inch half inch of a wish fish there but he's gonna go back see you buddy just playing keep away with the lipless that's all all this technique is oh there he is oftentimes when you rip it up and you just kind of let it drop they'll hit it on the drop He's not a big guy, but he is another crappie. This is just a great tactic to help trigger bites, especially during fronts like this. Sometimes if you're, you know, get a little bored with that jig set up, you're just constantly holding the jig in front of their face and they're just not biting, throw some sort of reaction bait. Lipless crank baits, jig and wrap type baits. Euro Tackle actually just came out with a Z darter. It's more of a jig and wrap type of bait. And you just let it pop and they typically hit it on that drop like when you pick up again it'll just have have dead weight on it unless you can get them to chase up the water column which if you don't have live scope you can definitely do it on 2d sonar well, that's one thing about november you got to expect the weather it's either going to be snowing or raining or just downright cold That's a good, that feels like a good fish too. Yeah. T-boned it. I think you guys get the point. He literally T-boned it too. Look at this. Look at that. Absolute T-bone. I think you guys get the point. Lipless crankbaits, any type of aggressive style baits work great this time of year. I'm going to be using them all through the fall and into the winter. Click that top link. Sign up for two more cast tackle box. Get this lipless crankbait for just a buck. Just one dollar, it's a heck of a deal. Heck of a deal. And uh, be sure to use your charts. Use that color shading and then side imaging is so key this time of year to find in these schools. Um, not all these schools are gonna be stacked up on cover like this. Some of them are just gonna be open water roaming on that hard to soft bottom transition, but lipless crankbaits, any type of reactive bait, Catch some crappie. I know this isn't a big fish, but man, he smoked it. See you, buddy. Click that top link in the video description. Thanks again for two more casts for sponsoring the video. Helping pay for some boat gas to get, get me out here. I'm sure all of you know that ain't cheap anymore. But appreciate you watching. If you got any comments or questions about how I found these fish, any type of equipment I was using, post them in the comment section below. Or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. 
good luck on the water this fall. Catch a ton of fish. We'll see you in the next one.